Hey guys, welcome back to another Android video from Coding Stuff. And in this video, we will work on Carousel Layout, uh, which is a new layout for Material Design. So let's just have a look at what we will be creating in this video. So I have connected my device, as you can see. So now I will swipe it, and yeah. So this looks cool to me and smooth transition as well. So let's just create it. It is pretty simple. So let me just minimize the device. And the first thing that we'll do, uh, we'll have a recycler view in the activity main. So I have created this empty project and we added the recycler view now. So width will be, let's give it a 0 dp. And I will provide the ID here. So ID will be a recycler view. So let's just change this height. So I'll make it 600 dp. Cool. So now what I will do, uh, I'll go to the build out gradles and I will enable the view binding. So over here, build features. I'll make the view binding true. So view binding true. And I'll click on the sync now. So our project is synced. I'll close this and we'll go to the main activity. And first of all, I'll create one late init var for our binding. So binding and this will be of type activity main binding. And I'll initialize the binding over here. So binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator. And instead of this layout, I will pass the binding dot root so binding dot root so now we'll set some properties to recycler view so binding dot recycler view set has fixed size we'll make it true and then we'll set the layout so binding dot recycler view dot layout manager and this is important so we just need to use this carousel layout manager which is coming from the material and then we need to set the adapter and we can also uh, there is one snap helper so carousel snap helper dot attached to recycler view we can pass our recycler here for smooth uh, snapping okay and now uh, we need to set the adapter to this recycler view so before that uh, we need to create one adapter and even before that uh, we need to create one layout for uh, holding the each item so i'll click on the layout I'll create a uh, one new layout resource file. I'll name it as each item. And I'll collapse the project view and we'll go to the split mode. So instead of constraint layout, uh, this is necessary. We need to use maskable frame layout. And, and we'll give it some margin. So margin of 8 dp, let's say. Then uh, there, is, there is one property to add corner. So app shape appearance and this will be equals to let's just import the app first. So all data question mark and ATTR shape appearance corner extra large. We'll use this and then I'll have an image view. So image view. I'll give it an uh, width and height as a match parent and I'll provide the scale type as a center crop so scale type center crop and we'll give it an ID so ID image view cool so our each item layout is done and now we can create an adapter for our recycler view so I'll create new class Kotlin class and carousel adapter and this will take one mutable list of type int so private val image list mutable list of type int cool so i have already uh, added some drawables here some images you can you can download uh, the images from the int internet or you can use these images uh, i will put the source code in the description box so yeah so here we'll pass that uh, drawable list and then we'll use this list in order to set the data to our image view 
and this class will inherit from recycler view dot adapter and here we need to pass the view holder class but uh, before that uh, let us create one view holder class so inner class carousel view holder and this will take private val binding of type each item binding cool and this will inherit from recycler view dot view holder and here we need to pass the layout so binding dot root cool and here we'll create one function which will bind the data and here we'll have image of type int and in this we'll use our binding dot image view we'll set the image resources with the image that we get passed cool so let's just pass this uh, view holder class over here and we need to import it and we need to add parenthesis over here cool so then i can click alt enter here in order to implement the three member functions so inside the get item count uh, we can just return image list dot size and from on bind view holder we can just call holder dot bind function and here the image list with this position and inside the on create view holder we just need to uh, return the carousel view holder so carousel view holder and here we need to pass the binding so each item binding dot inflate layout inflator from parent dot context and then the view group parent and attached to root will be false cool so our adapter is pretty simple and it is done so let's just go back to the main activity and first of all we will need to create one image list so val image list this will be mutable list of ints and let's just add some data to this image list so image list dot add r dot variable dot one i'll duplicate this few times this will be two this will be three this will be four this will be five cool so our image list is also ready so now we'll create one variable for our adapter and this will be of type carousel adapter so we need to pass the image list here so image list and then we can set this adapter to our recycler view so recycler view dot adapter equals to the adapter that we created cool so i guess uh, it is done so let's just try to run the app and we'll see this is working or not so as you can see our application is installed and if i scroll it or snap it to the right side or to the left side you can see uh, the cool animations so yeah that's it for this video i'll provide the source code in the description box and yeah do subscribe thank you for watching